Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. It is currently 11 p.m. on the last night of my 10 day cruise on board here, the Norwegian Dawn. In this video, you're gonna see me pack, you're gonna see me disembark, and this is my review of my 10 day cruise on board the Norwegian Dawn. Just for future reference, my cruise started August the 26th, 2024, and tomorrow is September the 5th, 2024. Here is a look at the itinerary that I just completed. We started in Southampton, England, we went over to Dublin and Cork in Ireland. We went to Le Havre, France, Zeebrugge, Belgium, Amsterdam, Netherlands, and we are disembarking in Copenhagen, Denmark tomorrow. I filmed a video every single day, so if you wanna go and watch that series, then go back, because I had so much fun. Every single port was amazing, the ship is amazing, itinerary is amazing. I do have a few negatives, but we're gonna talk about it all in this video. I'm also gonna be packing during this video. This is my level eight suitcase. This is the highest quality suitcase I've ever had in my whole life. Right now with my link, you can save 15% on your next purchase from level eight. Their website is full of travel essentials, all the highest quality. The customer service is great. I love these suitcases. They come in all sizes. Doesn't matter what your trip is. It doesn't matter where you're going. Level 8 has you covered. So click my link in the description to get 15% off right now. I absolutely love my Level 8 suitcase. I love the zips inside to keep the sides separated. It has a combination lock, quality wheels, amazingly strong handle. I highly, highly, highly recommend Level 8. All right, so let's talk about the Norwegian Dawn. It's pretty old because a few months ago I sailed on the Norwegian Prima and that is like two years old. The Norwegian Dawn is 22 years old. You can definitely tell. The first thing that I noticed in this cabin is, you know when you enter a cabin or a hotel room, there's no space to put your key for electricity. So that was the first sign that this cabin is pretty old. The next sign is outlets. These are the only two outlets in the whole cabin. We have one US and one UK and that's it. I don't see an old ship as a negative. It's still a beautiful ship. Don't rule out an older ship or a smaller ship when you're choosing your next cruise. You don't always have to go with the newest ship or the biggest ship. Sometimes you're gonna have a better experience on the smaller ones and the older ones. If you looked at this ship from the outside, you would say, wow, it's huge. No, the Norwegian Dawn is tiny compared to the mega, mega, mega ships that they have today. 3,000 passengers on this ship. That's pretty small. Some of these bigger ships, they can take like 7,000, 8,000 passengers. That's huge. So how about this itinerary? It's been amazing. I've been to all of these places before, but I was so excited to go back to these places and I had amazing experiences in all of them. Maybe the one negative port was La Havre, France, because I didn't get off the ship. I've been there. It's advertised as Paris, but it's very, very far away from Paris. I don't recommend going to Paris when you cruise to La Havre because it's very far away and you might not make it back, but all the other ports are amazing. So the two ports in Ireland, Dublin and Cork, both so, so, so cool. I prefer Cork than Dublin. They're very different. They're not the same at all, but, but Dublin is really cool. I went to the Guinness factory. I drank some Guinness in Dublin. That was amazing. La Havre, France was next. There's nothing really exciting in the port town and to get to Paris, it's gonna take like two hours. I wouldn't risk it. I wouldn't recommend going there. If you wanna go there, it's your once in a lifetime that you're gonna be near Paris, then go for it. But you need to get up very early and you might get back very, very late. I wouldn't risk it, but yeah, I stayed on the ship that day. The next port was Zeebrugge, Belgium. In Zeebrugge, you have a few different options. You can go to Bruges, you can go to Brussels, or you can go to Ghent. I spoke to people on this very cruise that went to all of them. This is probably the biggest surprise that I had at this cruise. I went to Bruges and I absolutely loved it. It was so cool. I never, ever, ever been to, I've driven through Belgium, but I've never stopped. So I've never been to Bruges before. I was so surprised how much I liked it. It was so clean, people were so kind. I drank some beer, weather was good. It was beautiful. It was so good. It was only a 20 minute bus ride from Zeebrugge to Bruges. Highly recommended. The next port was Amsterdam, Netherlands. I went to the Van Gogh Museum, one of my favorite places to visit in the whole of Europe. It's amazing. It's so cool. It's gonna be very busy. 
in my opinion, the streets are very dirty. It's not the cleanest city and the things you've heard about Amsterdam, the seediness, it's all true. Okay, it's absolutely true. I was walking down the street at 10 o'clock in the morning and I saw some stuff. I smelled some stuff. <laughs> so if you have kids, I wouldn't recommend taking them to Amsterdam. That's just my opinion. You know, definitely visit. Very, very interesting place. And Copenhagen. So it's kind of strange because the ship got to Copenhagen today. We're going to sit here overnight and then everybody's going to disembark tomorrow. So we had an overnight in Copenhagen. It's very, very, very far away from Copenhagen. I made a huge mistake and I walked out the port. I walked to the metro station, which took 40 minutes. It's two miles just to get inside Copenhagen. There is a shuttle bus that costs $20. I don't agree with the shuttle bus. I think that it's a cruise line responsibility. If you say we're going to Copenhagen, then it's your responsibility to get me to Copenhagen. Maybe some people don't agree with that, but that's what I think. But Copenhagen is great. Very, very interesting city. It's very expensive, so be aware. All right, here we go. Let's pack just a little bit. Halfway there, halfway there. Let's talk about the crew. The crew on the Norwegian Dawn have been absolutely amazing. They cannot do enough for you. They're so friendly, helpful. They would do anything to make you have a good vacation. So Norwegian Cruise Lines does something called a vacation hero. I have three of them. Please do these. You have no idea how powerful you are. They can make your day, but you can make their day as well. These can help them so much in their career. I used to work on ships, so I know about it. These can help them so much in their career. They get recognized for it. They get rewarded for it. If you have a good experience with a crew member, please write a positive comment for them because it helps them a lot. So this cruise I have, I have Siricorn. She was my waiter at Bamboo, the Asian restaurant. She's from Thailand. Absolutely amazing. I was having trouble with the chopsticks, so she made me one of those things that you give to kids. Yeah, she gave me one of those. Next is Arnold. Arnold from Zimbabwe. The nicest waiter, server I've ever, ever, ever met on a ship. I've cruised a lot. I've worked on cruises. He is the nicest guy I've ever met on a ship. He's always rushing around. He talks to everybody. He helps everybody. He is on the ball. He's such, such a hard worker, but he's so kind as well. He's so friendly. He's always smiling. I spoke to him a few days actually, and he said, you know, that's his job. He loves making people happy and he does it very well. So Arnold, he's my number two. And I have Erica, Erica with a K. She's from the Philippines and she is a hostess at aqua dining room and i've spoken to her probably more than any other crew member she is so friendly so kind she's always happy always smiling and she's she's just amazing erica with a k with a k and yeah so they're my three vacation heroes i'm going to show you what you do with these right now let's go to the atrium so my cabin is five five six seven let's take a walk so of course my cabin is on deck five. I'm not gonna show the ship on this video because I have 10 videos walking around the ship. So if you wanna see around the Norwegian Dawn, then check out the other videos. We're gonna go straight to the atrium and guest services because I need to drop off my vacation heroes. Please do these, they matter a lot. There is Aqua, that's where Erica with the K works. So we're heading up to deck seven. It's currently 11.30, so let's see if there's anyone still around the last night of the cruise, I bet there is. Welcome to the atrium. They have a band up there. Up there is the Irish pub Oceans. A lot of people still getting some drinks and getting some food. Food is still available right now. You can literally eat any second of the day if you want to. And over here is guest services. So right there is Copenhagen. Actually, Copenhagen's way over there. But I can get off the ship right now because we are docked here all night. So that is what you do, the vacation heroes. You drop them off and get services and it goes straight to the general manager. We need to go finish packing. So there's no doubt about it that this ship is older. But like I said, that is not a bad thing because does it look older? Yeah, you can definitely tell that it's not modern, but absolutely no complaints about this ship atrium's beautiful pool deck restaurants everything 
is amazing, even though it's over 20 years old. Like I said, I'm not gonna walk around the ship in this video. I did plenty of that during the last 10 days. Next, I just wanna quickly talk about cruising solo. So of course, I'm cruising solo. This whole cabin is for me. I won this at a solo gathering trivia. There are, I think, maybe 30, 35 solo travelers on this cruise. And every single day in the schedule, there is a time that all the solo travelers come together if you want to and just chat, talk about your day, play some games, and that's it. So if you want to be alone, then be alone. But if you want to meet other people, 100% you can do that. So if you're worried about you're going to be lonely, you won't be. Like I said, if you want to stay alone, great. If you don't want to, then great. Just go for it. Life is too short. Live your life. Do whatever you want to do. Do what makes you happy. And there's a whole world out there. Stop waiting around for the perfect travel partner to come along because it might not happen. Just go out there, see the world and be happy. This is a coffee mug by the way so what about the negatives there's got to be negatives right yeah so there's two two that I can think of number one is the casino it's a smoking casino and it absolutely stinks it's horrible it's disgusting I don't play the casino but I like to watch the casino if I have a spare like 20 or 30 minutes then I go to the casino and I watch people play the casino I think it's really fun it's exciting I saw a lady win three thousand dollars on a slot machine two nights ago but it stinks in there. A few months ago, I was on the Norwegian Prima and they have like a smoking section in the casino so you can avoid it. So I asked one of the dealers, why is the whole casino smoking here? And she said, because it's so small, I think they need to have a smoking section somewhere in the casino, but because it's so small, they couldn't really like section a corner off. So they just made the whole place smoking. It's horrible, it's disgusting. And it definitely stopped me staying in there for a longer time because I just couldn't handle it. It was horrible. People walking around smoking, it was it was horrible. The next negative is, if I'm gonna compare it to the Norwegian Prima again, so the Norwegian Prima, it has, I would say, two more entertainment venues than the Norwegian Dawn. Of course, it's a newer ship, but I wish there was more options here because here they have the Stardust Theater and they have the Bliss Lounge. That's pretty much it. That is where the shows are, that's where entertainments are, bingo, parties, trivia. But the Norwegian Prima, they had a comedy club where they had trivias and game shows, whatever. And they also had another bar that was called Sid Norman's. So they had shows in there. They had a regular band in there. So there's always more than one option, sometimes two, three, four options. But here, there's pretty much only one option for entertainment, apart from live music. Here, there's live music everywhere. There's three or four different venues they can go and see live music any second of every single night. But in terms of show, there was always one option and i just wish there was more options of places to go but small ship not complaining but it is a negative if i'm comparing it to the prima newer ship but more options would have been better so it looks like i have a few more things to do and then that's it i'm ready to disembark the norwegian dawn tomorrow morning in copenhagen denmark you're going to see it i'm going to film it all the way to the airport so that's it i'm going to finish this off i'm going to go to bed and i'll see you tomorrow at breakfast good night leaving the cabin for one last time at 7.45 a.m. Everybody needs to be outside their cabin at 8 a.m. Let's get some breakfast. Good morning everyone, welcome to Disembarking Day. The pool deck is empty. There's a few more people still finishing their breakfast in the buffet and it's almost time to get off the Norwegian Dawn. I need to make it into Copenhagen today for my flight. So I would say like 90% of people check their luggage in, they got a luggage tag and then they're gonna meet their luggage inside the terminal and they've been calling colors all morning they started at 5 15 this morning it's currently 8 15 so people have been getting off for the last three hours but i think they've called everyone now so they said everyone needs to be off i think they said before nine so yeah they're gonna start hurrying people out but <sighs> it's been an amazing 10 days almost time to get off almost just finished my breakfast had some coffee and then gonna slowly make my way downstairs Let's take one last look at the other side, 
some of the best views you will ever see in your life will be from a cruise ship but I'm gonna miss the sunsets many many people that I spoke to they're actually staying in Copenhagen so they're extending their vacation someone that I spoke to is staying for a week in Copenhagen some people are going to Sweden some people are you know going to other places but I'm just flying straight home today so my flights at 2 p.m. from Copenhagen Airport to London so I have just under six hours so I'm in no rush to get off of course I'm not gonna stay longer than I'm allowed to but no rush no more dilly dallying let's disembark the Norwegian dawn so sad shall we see the theater one last time Can you believe this is on a cruise ship? It's amazing. Wow. Entertainment on this cruise has been amazing. Like production cast, magicians, aerialists, comedians, everything has been really, really good. The longest taxi line I've ever seen in my life. Jeez, those people are gonna be waiting a long time. And I see people boarding today, but I can't be jealous because 10 days ago, people were jealous of me, so it's okay. That was so much easier than the walk I did yesterday. So this is what happened. So I step outside the terminal and there's a bus right there, number 25 bus. I didn't see number 25 yesterday, I saw number 164. But then the sign says Metro Station. So I was like, can I buy a ticket here? And then it was like, just scan the QR code. I scan the QR code, it doesn't work. So I'm like, ah. Oh. So I get on the bus, I was like, can I buy a ticket from you, like to the driver? And it was like, yes, but only cash. It's like, I don't have Danish crowns, they don't use euros here. It was like, oh, we can take euros as well. I was like, yes. And then I tell her I'm going to the, to the airport and then she just sells me a ticket all the way to the airport so I can use it on the metro as well, five euros. If you watched yesterday's video, I walked that journey because I couldn't work out the bus, it was a nightmare. But I'm gonna wait just a minute because the people on that bus, they were bitching at each other and I don't wanna be on the metro with them. So I'll take the next metro, it's okay. It is currently 9.15, I have plenty of time. So they can have that metro. That bus driver was super helpful. She was so kind, like, I said, oh, I'm going to the metro station. She could have just sold me a ticket to the metro station. But she was like, where are you going? Like, you're going to the city? Like, and I was like, I'm going to the airport. She was like, oh, I can sell you a ticket right to the airport. Like, just to save me, just to save me some trouble. I like people like that. Help someone out. I really, really hate cities that don't make it easy for tourists to use public transport. It should be easy. I don't want to download an app. I remember I was in one city. I don't even remember which country it was. But you have to download an app and then add your credit card and then add some money. Like, that's the only way you can buy a ticket for the bus. It's like, what? I'm going to be here for one day I don't want to download an app just for one day just let me pay cash on a bus please or just a debit or credit card it's unbelievable that countries still don't have contactless payments makes it so much easier for tourists one Metro just arrived there but I'm not gonna take it those moaning people can take it they're just bitching at each other for no reason just like this it says scan for public transport it says it's fast and easy no it's not if you don't have data on your phone and no it's not if you can't yeah, don't do that. Luckily, there's a machine upstairs you can use card and cash. So from the port, you need to change at Kongens Nutorp. This is where I came yesterday. This is where the harbor is, and this is where the main stuff in Copenhagen is. And I need to change to the M2 line. Welcome to Copenhagen Airport. Do you know what the sad thing is? Number one is some of these people are probably going straight to the ship and they're gonna be cruising tonight. So I hope they have fun because I had so much fun. And the second sad thing is now I need to pay for food. 
I had so much fun. I hope you enjoyed watching these videos. That's the end of the series. Let me know what you think. Please write me a comment. And hopefully the next cruise is just around the corner. Please click the link in the description to get your level eight suitcase. You can save 15%. If you click my link and buy today, quality products and you'll be helping me out because I get a little bit of commission if you buy something through my link with level eight. Thank you so much channel members for supporting me. That's why I can just jump straight on a cruise but it's time to go home. If you watched one of my videos, thank you. If you watched all of them, thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next adventure, wherever it might be. Goodbye.